Because I was on third base. David Bell was on second base. So now it's second and third, one out. The infield comes in as Kenny Lofton steps in. Kenny hits a ball deep into right center. I go back to tag up. The ball falls in, so I take off for home. David Bell's, you know, right behind me. We're in the third base dugout at AT&T. I see Darren Baker. He was in the dugout arguing with the main bat boy. The main bat boy told him that he could not go out there, you know, because it's a important part of the game. But right, I guess right when the ball was hit by Kenny, then Darren Baker just shot out of the dugout. He was going to grab the bat in the left-handed batter's box and then run back across the plate back to the dugout. Nobody was watching. Everybody was looking out the field. So they didn't know if the ball was going to be caught or drop in. David Bell was going to come in sliding hard, so I knew I had to get him out of the way. So I grabbed his jacket and just lifted him up, and he didn't know what had happened or what was going on. And when I came back, Dusty was like, what happened? I was like, oh, he ran across the plate. He looked at me and shook his head with a big smile on his face, and you know, he had the six bit going, and he said thank you. The reason we found out he ran out there was because Kenny Lofton was his favorite player. I can honestly say to this day, for hitting 407 in the World Series and getting a hit in all seven games, I'm more remembered for rescuing Darren Baker.